Olympic champion up against Li Chiaqiu of Hong Kong, China. Well, of course, with Victor Axelsson being the defending champion and the number one seed, he is in the top section of the draw. Number one seed always the top of the draw. This so this is the, is top the Yonex quarter. All England Open the winner of this match will play against Ng Si Yong of Malaysia, who was, of course, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist here in Birmingham last year. It's the men's singles featuring the number one seed from Denmark, Victor Axelsson. And his opponent from Hong Kong, China, Li Chiang Yu. Well, my goodness me, the defending champion, Victor Axelsson, looked relaxed as he was walking towards centre court. And what? A height difference between the two players really emphasised as they were walking next to each other. Hector Axelsson. Six foot four, this man. Five foot nine and a half. Well, this will be a fifth meeting between these two players and of the previous four, Victor Axelsson's won three, but most importantly the last three, including at the Malaysian Open last year. Three games, as you can see, in Kuala Lumpur. So Victor Axelsson has won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends, as he always does if he wins the toss. And he always likes to start the more difficult end, hitting with the drift. So, oh. Alan Crow will be our umpire for this one. And Paul Buffum, of, also of England, will be the service judge. So an all-English court officials for this one. But Victor Axelson, world number one, the 29-year-old from Odense which is where we have the Denmark Open each year. In fact, it's his 119th week in total as world number one, his third spell. His 11th appearance at the All England and at least a quarter-final in his last seven appearances here. For the last four, he's been in the final. He was winner of this title in 2020 and again last year. An incredible record at this event. So Li Chiaqiu, the 26-year-old from Hong Kong, China, went up one place in the world ranking, published early today, to 21, but a total of 10 weeks across four different spells. No longer than four weeks in any spell at number 14 in the world. His third All England Championships, and rather ominously for him, he's never previously uh, got through the first round. In 2020, he lost to uh, Lakshya Sen and last year lost to Ho Kwang Hee from Korea. So, I think that Lee Chuk Yu will have belief that he can win this. He's in good form. He was a semi-finalist last week Ready to in play. Mulheim at the German Open. So as I was uh, telling you a little early, earlier on, we have an all-English court official team here. Both our court officials from England, Alan Crow, the umpire, and Paul Buffum, the service judge.
her final preparation was always nerve-wracking moments for the players before the umpire announces the match to the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Victor Axelsson, Denmark. And on my left, Lee Chung Yu, Hong Kong, China. Lee Chung Yu, surf, love all, play. So Lee Chung Yu from Hong Kong, China, nearest to us against the defending oh. and two-time champion Victor Axelsson of Denmark. Well, Chris, I was saying so that uh, Lee Chuck Yu, well, he's played well in his last two tournaments. Not only was he a semi-finalist at the German Open last week, but prior to that, he played the Thailand Masters. That was also a 300 event. He was a quarter-finalist, but didn't start the, well, the year too well because in his first three tournaments of the year, he lost in the first round of all three events. I think he's quite a unique player. So he's quite... Um, all. varied as in he's he can almost seem to do anything he seems to be a highly talented player um, I think he's still finding his level as in I think he could be very good um, but I think he's still finding that with the discipline of what shots to play at what time I almost feel sometimes he has it's not that he has too much but he almost is uncertain on the decision to make I think today is a massive ask because he is playing you know the greatest player at the moment but the best round, I think, personally, to play Victor is the first round. Two, because he's not one. settled, because it, he's not used to the conditions. Yeah, I think he hasn't got into his rhythm, into his momentum, because for me, when Victor's in his rhythm and he's flowing, wow, he's crikey. I mean, he's he's like a god, if you know what I mean. Like, like that, he oh, was out, I thought that was in. But he can just put the shuttle he on the line. I mean, he looks incredible when he's in his rhythm. It was called in, and Lee Chek Yu begs to differ and has asked for the instant review. I'm going for it, clip the line. Well, they're both looking at the giant screen at the end of the arena. And it was a great challenge. Correct, just out. right. Three, one, play. Well, Lee Chuck Yu, we do know, can beat any player because he's beaten his opponents of today on the first meeting that they had, which was at the Hong Kong Open of 2019. Whoa! That's a beauty. What a lovely shot. And in fact, when he won, went on to win the entire Four, tournament, one. having been promoted from the qualifying on that Hong Kong Super 500 event. Now look how he looks as if he's going to lift the shuttle with a bit of a swing, and then turns the racket head at the last moment. I mean, that shot was incredible. The skill level needed, and to do it against Victor, I mean, it's not like you're doing Five, it in training against one. someone, you're doing it against the world number one in the first round of the All England. To play that shot like that, that is... Yeah, an absolutely amazing shot. Oh, he's beautifully talented. He's got lovely racket skills, there's no doubt about it. played two tournaments so far this year the Malaysian Open that was the first of the Super 1000 events he won that and then lost in the final the following week in New Delhi to Widersan so two tournaments two finals six two but what a year he had last year win-loss record of 51 and 3, only lost 3 matches the entire year, winning seven titles. Two. 
do think the way that Lee started this is, wow, it's quite incredible. No, we know he has the talent. That's a beauty. What disguise. It too. What good tactics. I mean, at the moment, he's... Yeah, he is a good player, don't get me wrong, but he is playing above his level. At the moment, he is... He's made a goal. He's, everything he's doing, he's, he's made one mistake. Everything else has been to perfection so far. Yeah, I Victor. have to say, I've seen him play Victor. like this Show on several Show occasions, Chris, right including when he won that Hong Kong oh. Open. His problem is keeping this level going for the entirety of the match. Yeah, I mean, if he can keep this up for the match, it's going to be very difficult for Victor. But I, I agree with you. I, I'm uncertain if he can, but if he Nine, keeps it for long enough, two. Victor will be ruffled, as it were, as in he will be frustrated. And that's when then it will be an interesting, or well, very interesting encounter. Well, according Three, to my statistics, nine. we've never had a defending champion in the men's singles lose in the first round. It's happened in women's singles three times. It's happened in men's oh. doubles. And it's happened Four, in women's doubles and mixed, but never in oh. men's singles. Again. Service over. Ten. Four. That's gone long. Eleven, Eleven four, four advantage four. in double quick time. And Lee Chiak Yu of Hong Kong, China is giving the defending champion an awful lot to think about. Seven minutes. Yeah. Call one twenty seconds. Call one twenty seconds. Oh, oh. Eleven four. Play. Well, the Dane has certainly got something to think about here. Yeah. And the cry of come on Five, in Danish 11. after winning the rally. I think the big thing is here, Victor has to believe that Lee cannot keep this up because the level he's played at, as you said, you've seen it before, but if he keeps it up for the whole game, it will be very, very impressive. Victor Six, has to believe that 11. Lee will drop his level. Smash from Axelson. Victor. Play. Seven. Eleven. Oh! Yeah, running to pick up the shuttle himself. He feels that he's back on a bit of a roll. He's gone wide. It. Eleven. And indeed, he is back on a bit of a roll. Four straight points since the mid-game interval. And I would say almost all of them are mistakes that we didn't see before 11 from Lee. Oh! 
It's over. 12, 8. Yeah, the mistiming of that shot to me is nerves. Mm. And so too is that reaction. He's very uptight at the moment. Oh, that's superb. That is wonderful, wonderful placement from Lee Chek Yu. The thing that Lee at the moment is, it's pretty much either a winner or a mistake, but it's all in his hands, if you get what I mean. So it's very hard for Victor to find a rhythm because Lee's controlling it. Um, personally, I always found that so difficult when an opponent was so varied and there was no rhythm. It was kind of, I always struggled to be consistent. I always made more mistakes. Nine, 13. Yeah, I think most players do as, as well, Chris. I don't think it was just you. It is very difficult, as you say, to get into a rhythm. No. Henrik Ruler. Joe the shuttle. His coach the shuttle. and also his father in law. Such a tall athlete, he's incredibly flexible. Axelson down on his knees and gets up again in one movement. I do think that's something Victor improved so much from when he left, I think a year after coming out, so his first year in seniors. His physical prowess, let's call it, improved so much, and now he's phenomenal physically, whereas when he first came out, I think it wasn't a weakness, that would be a harsh thing to say, but I think Please it was nowhere near the level it is now. Called out. Well, I think maybe as a teenager he grew so tall and... Uh, the strength of his muscles didn't grow at the same pace. But you're right, I mean, he works extremely hard on his fitness levels, his gym work, his off-court flexibility. He is the, you know, he's the ultimate professional. Challenge everything successful. everything about him one is challenge remaining. very professional, and that's why he, 12, one of the reasons why 14. he's such a successful player. Yeah, he's still got one challenge. Yeah, I can't believe that... He actually made that challenge, it was so far out. Ah! Let me check you. Ah! There's missed another. And now just one point in it. 13, 14. Well, to me, that was the wrong choice of shot. The lift was woefully short. Look where Lee's feet are when he plays this. He's inside the double service line. That's the one he should have really hit. He shouldn't have gone for the drop shot there. Strange choice 15, of shot. 14. What a turnaround since 11, so after the, the interval. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why Victor is, you know, he is world number one, even when his opponent comes out the blocks like phenomenal. He 
finds a way to nullify him and subdue him. Well, Victor Axelson is just pointing out to the umpire that Lee is trying to change the shuffle after every single rally. I have to say, I think the feathers on that one were a little bit ruffled. And when the feathers are ruffled, of course, it increases the surface error area. I mean, increased surface area, and of course, it slows the shuffle. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Service over. 16. 15. Here you go. This is where, for me, there's such a fine line between kind of brilliance and um, choosing the wrong shot there. In the first, at the beginning of the match, we saw that shot worked, a very similar shot worked perfectly, and there, easy mistake. Lovely shot that time. Sixteen, seventeen. Fantastic drop shot. Fantastic quality placement. Everything. But the lift, the yes. lift is a little, a little short there. He's thrown in a good flick. Lee. No! And once again, it's 17. all over. Oh. Long tuckling. Coaching in Hong Kong now. Former Malaysian player. That. I don't think he'll win that Challenges. challenge. I oh. saw that as good. I agree. I'm, I'm pretty sure that clipped the line. I think Victor knows that because he's given the shuttle back. Yeah. It's time to recompose his thoughts. I'm on the line. Oh. Challenge successful. One challenge remaining. 18, 17, play. Three straight points for Lee. Go back into the lead. Oh, lovely net shot from the Dane. Superb. Well, I thought for a, a split second there that Victor Axelson had got himself in a bit of a tangle at the front of the court. That was a very odd-looking final net shot yes. from Axelson. Yeah, but I mean, it worked. The, the shots he played here, I and mean, this net is unbelievable. It did that such a good lift, great. such a good lift, considering he did well to get it back, and then <laughs> net court after net court. But that's why he's world number one. Landed well in. So it's over. 19, 
misjudgment there from Axelson. Oh, plum on the line. My goodness me. Good call, line judge. Yeah, he's brushed it off the top of the tape. And it's two game point opportunities for Lee Chi Kyu of Hong Kong, China. Nineteen twenty. Opening game to Lee Chek Yu of Hong Kong, China, against the reigning world and Olympic champion. And defending champion here at the Yonex All England Championships. 21-19. The opening game in just 20 minutes. Check you. Love one game to the good oh, against the undisputed world number one, Victor Axelson. Axelson, of course, has got the better end now from which to play. He's hit on against the drift. So he'll be able to use the back of the court more. But it'll be interesting, Chris, to see how the tall day reacts to this. Well, that's one of my answers. It's over. One questions answered. Four. Yeah, I mean, Victor's he's definitely flustered, but Lee's done that to him because Lee's played a great first game. Um, can Victor turn it around? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. Another one goes long. Well, he's challenging that. Each of you challenges. Don't Cole win that challenge. Out. With the drift flat push to the back, likely to have gone long. Yeah, clearly not. Challenger successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Two one. Oh, play. Three, one. Oh, 
Four, well, the swinging of the arms there from Lee tells me he's got a lot of tension in his body right now. Almost looked like he was going for a swing. That's gone. Oh no, that's landed on the back line. So it's over. Two, four. Could have played that, you know. Axelson chose to leave it. Yeah, it was on the back line. That's one of his favourite shots, isn't it? The angle, almost half smash across court from the deep forehand corner. And look how he follows in as well. Knew that if his opponent got it back, it would just be a straight block. And Victor Axelson had that covered. Let. I'm literally waiting one minute between every rally. Five two. Yeah. And the World Tour Finals trophy on display in the background. That is an absolute beauty. What precision. Didn't punish it. Oh, he did that one. We've seen very few net exchanges. Is there a reason for that, Chris? I mean, Lee's net's pretty good. Um, I do feel Victor's been mo moving the shot around a lot. He's been lifting. I feel Victor's been defending more than he's been attacking. Um, is it nerves? Maybe. Maybe does he feel a bit uncomfortable to play the net? But we have also That's seen Lee's he's Seven, pretty um, aggressive four. onto the net. So if it's loose, as we saw in the rally before, Lee will take that advantage. Seven, over. Five. Seven. Five. Yeah. Yeah, it's they're not working. Yeah, they're they're not working. Well, the scoreboard I don't think is working. So it is five seven. <laughs> Missed it. That's extraordinary. So it's over it. Five. What a golden opportunity. Deflected by hitting the top Eight. of the tape. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. I thought he might have touched the net as well, Axelson. There was such movement of the net there. Let's have another look. 
Uh, no, it was just a shuttle. It really was just a shuttle. It's extraordinary. I thought the net was going to fall down. Well, he's challenged again, if he's wrong on this. He's got no challenges left. The check you. Here we go. But he's right. Correction, out. And it was just long. Seven, eight, play. This is an important point, you know. Hey! Off. And it goes down as a squandered point. And a missed Nine, opportunity seven. from Lee Chek Yu. It was almost like he had too much time. Almost too many shots went through his head. You can see the frustration at the end of that rally. That's gone wide. Ten, seven. Ten. Yes. It's not even close. Absolutely crucial. It's a three point advantage for Axelsen at the mid game interval here in this second game. Well, you've got to ask the question how on earth did Lee Chuck you miss that one? And look at his reaction if you're a, a fan of Lee. I think I'd probably be more seconds. concerned seconds. about her reaction afterwards. Point advantage to Axelson. Well, I don't think hitting flat shots well, like that from Lee is the answer. Do you think Lee's reaction to the point uh, before the break? You know, he's he's almost playing on the edge. Even his emotions are on the edge, and I do think it looks like a little bit of fatigue is maybe creeping in just because. There's so much adrenaline going through, and there's so much um, so excitement, Nine. emotion that it does Twelve. drain you. And I do think if this was to go two, three games, I do think we would see a, a more fatigued version of Lee.
Decisive move. Five point advantage now for the defending champion. Interfering with his opponent's shot there, I think. Eleven. Oh, look at that. Ran to pick up the shuttle, Lee. Yeah, I think Victor needs to just sort of steady the ship, as it were. Just a few quick points if Lee gets another one or two all of a sudden it's you know it's tight again yeah. and as you highlighted before he just Victor just managed to seem to get that lead and he looked a bit more calm <laughs> stepped in very well there service over 15 11 well, they're not waving the Danish flanks yet are they everybody's feeling uh, a little bit nervous as far as Danish supporters are concerned oh. Now he's restored, 16, restored his five point advantage. Oh. Well, that's what you call precision. It's over 12, 16. Hit the top of the tape and trickled over. Watch this. Here it comes. Oh, stop dead. That's amazing. Thirteen. Sixteen. Oh, he took that so early. Axelson anticipated the next shot reply. He was ready and waiting. Well, well, I can't believe he's challenging that. Surely. I thought that was clearly in. Miles in him, Babington turns. What on earth was he thinking? No challenges remaining. Service over. 17, no, no 13. Play. <laughs> Service over. 14, 17. Axelson. 14. Yeah, this was very calm and composed. Just pressure. Yeah, He's just two, putting pressure on three him. Three. Yeah. Before he actually finished it off. Yeah, and that's, you're right, Chris, it's that continued pressure, isn't it? It's not just one, but there was three shots where he was right on top of the shuttle. I think the big thing is it's not thinking you have to win the rally. Victor was in such a good position that if Lee got himself out of trouble, it would have been fun. Wow. Oh! Oh, that nice. is sensational. 19, 14, please. Good tight spinning net shot from Lee Chekyu. Axelson. 
Hutchinson had to let the shuttle come out of the tumble, took it late and played the net cord net shot. Now, how cool is that? Look at that. I mean, oh, it's, it's like one in, a, one in 500. That shot is that good. And Victor doesn't even smile. He's, he's that cool that he's like, yeah, I do that every day. I'm not sure I did one of them in my career. <laughs> Two points away from taking his second game. Oh, that's a beauty. So it's over. 15, 19. Finds the line. Look at that. Sensational. You've got no, no challenges yeah. left. That was out. Yeah, I know. No yeah, challenge. No. There was no challenges, Rain. No, 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 but it was called out. Yeah, I know. But so, I, no challenge already, right? Sorry. Yeah, just checking with the umpire, and yeah. he's absolutely right. And so was Victor Axelson, because Lee Chek Yu has got no challenges left. 20, game point. And the thing is, as well, 15. we challenged one of them that was. You know, I don't know how much, it was almost it was three inches, yeah. it? and that right. was that was close. I mean, it's very hard to tell if that was in or out. I mean, that was definitely a lot closer than one of the others he challenged. So five game point opportunities for the defending champion to level this at one game all. And he's missed it. Game. It is indeed one game apiece, and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. 21-15, second game. Second game won in by Victor of Axelson. the number one seed. 21-15, one game all. Og så i stedet for at løfte kryds, ja. så drejer du den ind til midt i stedet for. Og så bare opmærksom på de der tryk, kan man ikke lave noget med forhold. Ja, ja. men hvis du, får den, hvis du får lagt den derinde i midten, så skal han trods alt lave et eller andet derinde fra. Ja. Så du ikke bare løfter den dernede, ja. men ingen. Jeg vil bare ikke have, at det bliver for langsomt. Nej, men det er fint nok, men, men kan du gå efter midten der, så, det, så du lukker ned derfra. Ikke? Så ligger den derinde, og så lukker du. Jo. Og gør dig klar, så du kan komme højt på den næste. Ja. Og så flytter vi ham igen. Call one twenty seconds, call one twenty seconds. calls for the deciding game to get underway and Chris you said I think straight after the opening game well if this goes to a decider it'll be interesting to see the body language and whether Lee Chuck Yu was able to maintain his sort of style and his belief well we're about to find out That's a good next shot from Victor. And again. When he takes it early at the net like that, those tight spinning net shots from the tall day. I mean, what on earth do you, what, what can you play against it? This is the thing, because if you're lifting that, you're lifting it short. You're, like, if you're lifting short to Victor, you're in trouble. And if you try and play net off it, it's, you know, it's only Victor, I think, that can do that. It's almost impossible from down there to try and play a net shot. So it's, it's a very difficult, very difficult situation. 
And already, Three I am a little concerned lost. about the body language of Lee Cher Q. I'd definitely say that both their body languages have changed. Victor looks a lot more upbeat, more confident. The Victor that we see, and I'd say Lee looks like unsure. Yeah. Yeah. Just that doubt's creeping in Lee's mind. Four. Physically, can he compete? Love. You know, I don't think it's 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 the physical side of it. I think it's the mental side of it with Lee Chuck Yu. I mean, look at that. I mean, he was he was fast in that rally. It's whether he's got the belief. Yeah, speed in that rally was good. I just, I don't think he's going to be able to maintain that for the rest of this game. Maybe he will. I think it's a combination of mental belief, shot selection, um, almost discipline of shot as well, and the, the physical area because Victor is, you know, he's like a man mountain. Two, four. First game, how how well he could play it. I mean, I think Victor's lift maybe is a bit short. Not sure, if we're going to get to see. Yeah, it's quite short, but still, it's an incredible shot. Yeah, and that's what he was doing in the opening game, isn't it? Hitting winners like that. Oh, you know, a, a couple more winners like that, and I I think that Lee could have the belief. And as far as Axelson is concerned, well, all elite sports people know that. Confidence in sport is a fragile commodity. Four, four. Definitely, and it's one of those things that if you give Victor confidence, he's amazing. If you stick with him and you, you try and make him feel uncomfortable, you know, we saw in the first game, Lee can compete. Yeah, gets a little bit nervous, a little bit tentative. Five, four. I said before the match started that I do think Victor's most susceptible in in the first round because when he starts to get in his rhythm, he's you know he's very 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 impressive. It's wide. Six, four. Oh, that's wide. Well, that's the sort of attacking play that's served Axelson so well in recent years, taking him to the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo in 21. His second world title last year, also in Tokyo. Oh, that's lovely. Well, we've only had runs of four five, points so far eight. in this deciding game. Axelson went for love, and it was four all. Now eight four. Does play that shot to perfection. You can see how deep Victor is because I think again Thank the you. lift short and Lee Lee does have the big power on the attack, so Victor has to give himself a bit of space. Gracious me, what on earth was that? Six, eight. Was he going to leave it? Can Maybe he lost it in the lights, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm not Have totally seen sure. a shot like that? <laughs> That's 
that's a good neck shot. Yeah. Tight spinning neck shot, force the short lift, then Axis and goes for his angled attack. Standard tactic, and my goodness, he does play that so well. The spin of Victor got on that net shot was, I mean, it was unbelievable. It was nearly feathers that Lee could strike because he put so much spin on it, Victor. Yeah, good pace forward. Ten. Six. Brilliant. And Victor Axis will have a five-point advantage at the change of ends here in the third and deciding game. Well, he does look as if he really believes now, Axis. Det er langt mere bevægelse nu. Ja. Til forbringen, ikke? Jo. Og mere gang i stingerne. Ja. Men det er nu værd med at smide den over til hans, hans korte bare. Ja. Der, der går bare spille ind til en hans forbringen. Ja. Ja. Han slyfter den dårlige, og han ruller efter den. Hva? Kan man se? Hva? 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 No. Well, I just wonder in that timeout when we were listening to Victor Axelson whether he had a bit of a, a cold. Seems to be a little croaky and a little sniffly. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's good play from Lee Chat Seven's over. Seven, eleven. Especially as the control he needed, that end to get himself out of trouble and put it over Victor was pretty much the perfect shot. Oh, that's a beauty. It's where it's tough for Lee because, to be honest, he's not doing that much wrong. It's just Victor's really upped his level. I think that body language there suggests that Lee Chek Yu knows that he's got to stop this onslaught from Axelson. He's trying to up his pace. Look at his pace of movement. Desperate to take the shuttle early, and he so got his just rewards. have finished for the day and we, we still have one more match to come after this so it's over 14 8 spinning neck shot again. Oh, that's fabulous! Oh, he's called a fault. He's called a fault on Lee Chak Well, 
he is waiting to see the replay on the giant screen. Here we go. Oh, I think that's a good call. I think that's a good call by the umpire. Well, it was mighty close. Got to wait for the shuttle to cross over the line of the net before you hit it. And I think 16, the resistance and resolve of Lee Chek Yu has been broken. Yeah, last time he went cross court with his winner, Axelson, that time going straight. Good. Yeah. Oh, yes, plumb on the line. Yeah, my goodness me. Is this one last final effort from Lee Chek Yu? Yes. Gosh, he was quick forward there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was fully committed for that. The only shot that he had in his mind was that shot, but he read it incredibly well and great finish. But that defensive shot, backhand defence from Victor Axelson, where he drove the shuttle, this one, down the forehand side, and despite the dive, look at the reaction. Hasn't this been a fabulous match? Yeah, for a first round, I mean, it's been amazing. Full credit to both, both players. Great, great rally from Lee, but the difficult thing is he's literally putting these on the line. Victor's still getting it, and then he hits the cross, smash the other side in a second. It's almost on the line as well. It's the only way he can win the point. Over this side, over this side as well. The way Victor gets up when he when he does a dive, it is quite incredible considering how big he is. Yeah. I think I think I would have had to maybe get you, Jill, to come and pick me up to get me up <laughs> when I did a dive. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Chris, I'll get the winch on for you. When we start our mixed doubles career, we might have to. <laughs> we haven't got a decent knee between us. Oh, that came off, rebounded off the racket, and he's called a fault on that. Now, I don't understand that. I don't know why that was the fault. Look, he just... Puts his racket up, Lee bounces off. I didn't see a problem with that, to be oh! honest. Things I agree. I think there's a bit of a grey zone that one. I think maybe 20. there needs to be a bit more clarity match on that. Point. Yep. 11. But it is now nine match point opportunities for the defending champion, Victor Axelson. Missed it. Again. And Victor Axelson has come through a very tough test in this opening round 
coming through after dropping the opening game against Lee Chek Yu of Hong Kong, China. But what a great match it was. Well, we're seconds off it being an hour in duration. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Victor Axelson finished incredibly well. A little shake of the head as well as a wave. But he knows that that was not his best performance. But he wasn't allowed to play at his best because of the quality of his opponents. And that's wonderful sportsmanship between the two men. But the height difference between the two athletes all too obvious as they embraced at the conclusion of the match. So uh, coming from that game down 1921 uh, to win the second 21-15 and the decider 21-11. So Victor Axelson who's been in the final of this tournament for the last four years. He's the defending champion and two-time winner. He's safely through to the second round. So we've had nine matches so far on our show court and there's just one more match to come and it's home interest because it is the two-time finalists at this event. Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. Ellis back from injury up against Yamashita and Shinoya.